Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal believe Rhys Nelson is keen to sign a new contract with the Gunners. Arsenal believe that Rhys Nelson wants to stay at the Emirates as the Gunners look to agree a new contract with the winger, according to a report from the Daily Mail. Nelson, of course, was the Gunners hero on Saturday. It was his top-age time strike which sent the Emirates into a frenzy as Mikel Arteta's men completed their stunning turn around against Bournemouth. The 23-year-old's record this season is actually immense. He has only made three substitute appearances in the Premier League and yet he has managed to contribute three goals and to assist. He has barely managed 90 minutes on the pitch in total, but he may not be an Arsenal player for much longer. His contract expires in the summer. Reports from 90 Minutes at the weekend claim that talks are underway with Nelson over a new deal, but no agreement is close and a host of sides are monitoring the situation. The Daily Mail has now provided a more encouraging update. According to the report, there is a growing hope that Nelson will decide to stay at the Emirates and Arsenal are confident that the youngster wants to extend his deal. It's noted that game time assurances are likely to factor into the discussions, so that is going to be a tricky hurdle for Arsenal to clear. But Mikel Arteta has previously described Nelson as a special talent, and it's clear that he has the ability to make an impact at the highest level. He is certainly knocking on the door for more game time during the run-in, so if the Gunners can ensure that he signs a new contract, it would arguably be a brilliant piece of business for the Premier League leaders. Mika Richards compares Martin Odegaard with Manchester City legend. Mika Richards has told BBC Sport that Martin Odegaard reminds him of David Silva, insisting that he loves watching the Arsenal star play for the Gunners. Odegaard is definitely threatening to become the next captain to lift the Premier League trophy. Only Bukayo Saka has been directly involved in more goals this season than Odegaard. The 24-year-old has 9 goals and 6 assists in the Premier League. Certainly, he is a main contender for the Player of the Year award. Richards actually decided to give that honor so far to his countryman Erling Haaland. But he was full of praise for what Odegaard has done with his career since arriving in North London. He said, he was big in news when he joined Real Madrid aged 16, but then things seemed to drift and I was wondering if he would ever realize his potential. Odegaard was 22 when he joined Arsenal on loan from Real in 2021 and you only get so many chances at big clubs. I wasn't sure whether he would take off or fade away. So for Odegaard to turn things around for himself like this is impressive especially in one of the world's most competitive leagues, and then to take the responsibility of captaincy to inspire his team too. Odegaard reminds me of my old city teammate David Silva in the way he wants to get into pockets of space, get on the ball, and dictate play. He does it also effortlessly too, and I love watching him play. There is no doubt that signing Odegaard was a transformative deal for Arsenal. He had struggled with Real Madrid, but he had that aura of a superstar that the Gunners had rarely had amongst their squad over the last decade, and he has backed that up by making such a difference in their title push this year. He is never scared to get onto the ball, and he very much leads by example. For that reason, you can definitely understand the David Silva comparison. There was a calmness which would descend over Manchester City when the Spaniard got the ball, and Odegaard has that same ability to bring composure to Arsenal. That composure is going to be crucial over the coming weeks. Brooks says Thomas Party had the game of his life. Garth Crooks has told BBC Sport that Thomas Party had the game of his life on Saturday as Arsenal beat Bournemouth to keep their Premier League title hopes very much alive. The Gunners looked set to let Manchester City close the gap just two points at the weekend, Pepe Guardiola's man had already beaten a Newcastle by the time the Gunners went 1-0 down inside 10 seconds to the Cherries. And it got worse for Mikel Arteta's man. The visitors would double the lead during the second half, but we should have all known that Arsenal were far from done. 
it was party who sparked the comeback, and what followed was goals from Ben White and Rhys Nelson, the latter certainly sent the stadium into a frenzy as everyone realized just how important that victory could be. It was a remarkable turn around from Arsenal, regardless of where the opposition sat in the table, and the Crooks was absolutely blown away by the performance of party in the middle of the park. He said, at the moment everything, Arsenal seems to touch turns to gold. Granny Chaka misses his first Premier League game of the season, just as Party returns to the side from injury and has the game of his life. The Ghana International got Arsenal back into the game after an awful start. It was also his perseverance and drive on the edge of the Bournemouth box that provided the opening for Ben White to score the equaliser, the England defender's first goal for the club. Arsenal have definitely benefited from having party available for much of the campaign so far. Injuries have previously restricted his game time in North London. Arsenal have only lost three league games in this campaign, and two of those have come when party has been unavailable. Funnily enough, the one defeat he was involved in came at Everton, and on that occasion, he came off just before the winning goal was scored. Not that his presence would have necessarily made a huge difference at that stage, but Arsenal are no longer so reliant on party. The January move for Jorginho has been inspired despite how some Gunners fans reacted to the links, and as Rhys Nelson showed, the Gunners have the kind of depth all over the park which suggests that they may be starting to become title favourites. Ben White gives his reaction to Arsenal comeback win. Ben White has reacted to Arsenal's win against Bournemouth and insists it was fully deserved. The defender was among the scores as Arsenal stormed back from going two goals behind. Mikel Arteta's men are proving they have the mentality of would-be champions and wins like that show they will be hard to stop. The Gunners remain five points clear at the top of the league table as Manchester City chases them and White believes they deserved the win against the Cherries, even though they went behind. He said via the Daily Mail, That is football, the emotions of the game and the different ways it could have gone. I think it's all down to the boys and how we work each day. It's a result we fully deserve. Every week we keep building and winning games, and that's what we managed to do. We just keep going, play the way we play, and the goals will come. It was unbelievable, it was Reese that scored for me, so I am very grateful. No opponent is easy to beat in the Premier League and Bournemouth gave us a good fight, so we deserve credit for earning the points in the game. This has been a good term, but we must hold our breath and keep winning even though it's not long before we reach the end of the season. Rumored Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool transfer target drops hint over his future. Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabio has dropped a hint over his future amid transfer rumours linking him with the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool. The France international is due to be out of contract with his current club this summer and it remains to be seen if he will stay where he is or look for a new challenge. Still, if Rabio does move on, it seems he's keen to ensure he is playing Champions League football, which could offer some clue in terms of the clubs he's been linked with in the past. Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool have recently been mentioned as being in contact with Rabiot's representatives in a report from 90 Minute, but he is quoted by Fabrizio Romano as making Champions League football sound pretty important in his decision-making. Adrian Rabiot on contract expiring in June. I want to play Champions League football, it will be a crucial point to make a decision on my future. New deal with Juventus, there are no recent talks, but we have time to do that, there is no news at this stage. This would probably rule out Chelsea as an option for Rabiot, as the Blues are struggling at the moment and highly unlikely to get into Europe as things stand. Liverpool's form has picked up a bit, so they might be back in the race and they could certainly do with the fresh bodies in midfield. Arsenal, meanwhile, seem nailed on to be back in the Champions League, so could be the best option, with Mikel Arteta also looking in need of more options in the middle of the park. Arteta could give up Tierney to sign Manuel Locatelli. 
Arsenal could be ready to up their interest in Manuel Locatelli once again and may even offer up Kieran Tierney to get the deal done. According to Calcio Mercato Web, Arsenal want to sign Locatelli after showing interest in the Italian midfielder in the past. CMW claims that Arsenal's interest in Locatelli is concrete and, to test the water, they could even look to throw in Kieran Tierney to convince the Turin club to do business. Tierney, who Arsenal signed for £25 million, has dropped down the pecking order this season. The signing of Zinchenko has seen Tierney's game time become limited, to say the least. There is said to be a growing belief that Arsenal will allow Tierney to move on in the summer. Locatelli, who has been described as perfect, has had interest from Arsenal and Chelsea in the past. Tierney, meanwhile, has been credited with having Juventus as admirers. The report here, linking Tierney and Locatelli with a swap, would make sense given those reports. Arsenal won at the weekend in a dramatic fashion and are now favourites for the title. However, they already have plans to sign a midfielder in the summer. Declan Rice has been linked, but Locatelli could provide an alternative. Locatelli showed his class not so long ago in the Euros and he is a fine player when he is on song. Arsenal need to make sure the middle of the park is sorted for the next few seasons. At the moment, if they get an injury to someone like Partey or Chaka, it does seem to leave a big void. Locatelli would bring a touch of class and experience to Arsenal. Crucially too, he is a winner and that's what Arsenal seem to be adding to their squad recently. Journalist shares update on Declan Rice amid Arsenal and Manchester United interest. CBS journalist Ben Jacobs has told Give Me Sport that Manchester United admire Declan Rice, but Arsenal believe they are leading the race to sign him. Mikel Arteta's men have been heavily linked with a move for Rice ahead of the summer, with West Ham seemingly resigned to losing their star man. The Gunners have bolstered their options in the middle of the park by bringing in Jorginho from Chelsea, but they will need further additions in the position at the end of the season. Petty O'Rourke recently claimed that Arsenal will go all out for Rice this summer, but Arteta's men will face competition for the 24-year-old signature, with the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea both interested. Speaking to GMS, Jacobs provided an update on Rice's future at West Ham and claimed that Arsenal believe they are the front runners to land him at the moment. He said the following, West Ham are resigned to losing Declan Rice, so there will be a summer sale because Rice wants either a Champions League football or a club that he knows over time he can get Champions League football with. And there are those outside of Chelsea and Arsenal that admire Declan Rice, Manchester United and Newcastle United. But I think Arsenal feel like they are the front runners and Chelsea are going to be very seriously in the race as well because Rice has always been a long-standing priority. Rice has been described as a world-class player due to his displays for the Hammers over the past few seasons. West Ham will face a big decision over the England star at the end of the season with his contract set to run until 2024. Gary Neville has said that he believes the midfielder should not be worth any more than £60 million, but it would be a massive surprise if West Ham allowed him to leave for that kind of fee. Rice would undoubtedly be a brilliant addition to the Arsenal midfield and while they will face stern competition for him over the summer, the North Londoners will be an attractive opportunity for the Hammers star. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.